Hi. <laughs> what's up, what's up, what's up? How are you, my peoples? I hope you're enjoying my channel. And if you're not, please tell me what I shall do so that you can enjoy it, okay? And if you're watching this video and you're new here, here we love visitors. So feel free, feel welcome, and please subscribe and turn on post notifications new videos come up every tuesdays and fridays okay so today's video was supposed to be on hiv and family planning and then i changed it because it's the last day of july and i don't want to give you too much info of things you will not understand and because we're talking to a doctor I decided to reschedule it to a different day but we're going to talk about a question that actually has been asked a lot especially on my facebook on treatment regimen change let's start with what is a treatment regimen first of all there are over 60 regimen types of areas if you follow me on social media you've seen me upload photos using this too i don't know whether you can see them Ah, the light is too much. <laughs> you see, this this is a blue container. Uh -huh. Here you can see it. Yeah, this is a blue container. It has a. Uh, it's called Agri Acritega or DTG. This is called Avonza, but Avonza is basically TL. This is TLE. This is. Uh, TLD, yeah, this is TLD, this is TLE. Uh, TLE and TLD is basically just the ingredients. This one has tenofovir, this one also has tenofovir. This one has um, lamivudine, this one also has, uh, this, one, this one also has lamovidine, but it's very little. Uh, this one has, uh, what is it called? Disoproxil, disoproxil, uh, and this one has a favorite. However, they both actually have the same ingredients, just different names, different companies, and uh, fewer side effects depending on the regimen you are on. We have two types of HIV medication line we have a uh, like first line, uh, sorry, we have three. We have first line, second line, and third line. However, it's only first line and second line that are available in Kenya. You can actually see this on a video that I did. I'll put it, I'll put the link in my description. Uh, we are all being switched to this regimen, DTG. According to experts and scientists and people who have done research on it, they say DTG has fewer side effects, suppresses the HIV virus, faster and um they say it's basically the best it's like a god's gift to people living with hiv uh i will reserve my comment on that one this one is actually taking just one pill still but in the morning uh the reason why it's taking in the morning is because one of its side effects is insomnia and when it causes insomnia you cannot sleep you start having weird nightmares and you go back to your doctor and complain and then they cannot help you because now all of us are being switched to this regimen and uh, even though at first when it came out um who declared it not a not fit for women in childbearing age last year during the international aids conference in mexico it was declared fit for every woman of every age so it's dtg for all leave no one behind is actually the motto this one which i actually love because you take it it knocks you out just till morning so this one is being faced out uh so by the end of the year we are all going to be doing away with this and saying hello to this so you have we we are all understanding a lot of you have sent me this message and told me I went to the hospital. My doctor changed my airways, but they did not explain why. I said in my in my in last week's video, normalize asking your healthcare worker questions. Remember, your healthcare worker does not take airways with you. 
they will not experience the side effects with you. They will not feel like defaulting with you. So it is time we ask the question. I have been changed to DTG twice. The first regimen that came of DTG, it was not a regimen, it was still DTG, different bottle, it was in a white bottle, uh, a little bit, uh, the color was red, this one is white, this one the color is white. So the first one the color was red, reddish, brownish, something of that sort, and it was, um, it did not auger well with me. I tried this one, I gained weight like Saita, so I am back to my old self. But whether I like it or not, at some point I will still go back to it. I will, I will be switched to DTJ, which is basically what is happening right now. Some of you asking me why is it that we cannot stick to one ARV regimen? When we started ARVs 15 years ago, we used to take three or four medications. It came back down to two and now it's down even to one. It is the same medication but it keeps being pressed and pressed and pressed into one medication and with time we're even going to have the injectable where you get to have either injectables monthly or quarterly depending. I, I will choose quarterly. If they will bring yearly it will even be better. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Anywho, uh, I, if one, well, first of all, I'd like to start with why uh, treatment is changed for people, for patients living with HIV. First of all, it's to find a regimen with fewer side effects. So, like right now, they say DTG has fewer side effects. Okay, but from the people who are taking DTG, I feel like DTG has more side effects. I don't know, maybe it's just my body and DTG. There are some people who are taking DTG and they feel fine. But please, if you're on DTG, don't take it on an empty stomach. You will not like it. Don't take it at night. You will not sleep. I am telling you from a practical point of view. <laughs> mm, another thing is your HIV becomes drug resistant which means that the HIV treatment you are taking will no longer work on your virus. Remember that the HIV virus is very huge. HIV is not a single virus. It's one virus with very many strains. So you are given an ARV regimen depending with the strain that you have. That is why not all of us are taking the same ARVs. Somebody, I might be taking DTG, another person might be taking this there's this one I, I usually hear people say I have you forgotten that name. I've forgotten that name when I remember I will let you know. I will act I think I will put it in part of the as part of this description. I really hope I remember this. Uh, so the over sixty regiments as I said and they all go with every other they work for every other ARV HIV uh, strain that is out there. So Another reason why you, your air remedication has changed is because your viral load, that is the amount of virus in your blood, goes up after years of successful treatment. So you might be taking, I might be undetectable, been undetectable since 2016, and then all of a sudden, my when my virus my viral load level starts going up so the doctors will be like mm -mm, we now have to switch her maybe to second line or to this other ARV why do I say this um, in the year 2012 when I quit taking my medication I was switched to I was almost switched to a different regimen which is and they wanted to give me second line medication Fortunately, the way God loves me, I am God's favorite child, so, you know, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, so because of me stopping going to hospital, they never got the chance. But doctors are always advised, if you see that the, the viral load is going up and the patient insists their own medication, ensure that you switch the regimen or you switch the line of treatment, okay? Another reason is the HIV treatment you're taking becomes toxic to your body, causing liver or kidney failure. Uh, in the previous video I did on HIV 
medication, the side effects of HIV medication. I mentioned that one of the long-term side effects of HIV medication is liver and kidney failure, which is actually the reason why if you're living with HIV, taking alcohol is usually not a very advisable idea. Okay. Another thing is you when you are pregnant or want to become pregnant, every woman who is pregnant should be treated to prevent HIV from their child. Okay. So when you're pregnant, you're also changed. Your regimen is also changed to suit that time that you are on that you are pregnant, okay? For some women, not every woman, because some women just continue with the normal uh, regimen. Some are changed, some are added more medication and all that. So what I want to say is this evening, the regimen right now is being changed to DTG because that is how the donor wants, first of all. The real reason is actually, that is one, partly the reason why the don what the donor wants. The donor here being PEP Fund Global Fund. Uh, I don't know whether PEP does fund our ARVs uh, written right now. I'm not very sure, but Global Fund, I am 100% sure. Uh, also, another thing is uh, because they feel that uh, viral suppression to reach the 95% goal of people leave people on treatment to reach the viral to reach viral, viral suppression they have to change all of us to DTG okay so and because DTG has been seen to reduce the virus way faster then it looks like a good idea so please when you go to hospital and uh, you change to your regimen and it reaches home and it starts starts acting up because trust me DTG will act up before you go home with that medication ask your healthcare provider doctor why am i being changed medication doctor what if i get side effects doctor what are the side effects i might get i will put the link on the side effects of airways in my my description but you also have to normalize asking questions when you go for your checkup okay another thing i want to address very briefly is the stock out on septrin there's also actually a stock out on airways but uh, that one is globally known the stock out on septrin i am not sure whether it's globally known because um that one i also don't know what's happening it was supposed to be restocked but i am not sure whether it's going to be restocked or it has been phased out i also don't have the right information on that one but uh, you can actually take your septrin your ARVs without septrin apart from the few people who have met like four or five people who have complained that if they don't take septrin then they end up getting mouth sores please if you are experiencing mouth sores because you are taking septrin you are you are no longer taking septrin kindly i would advise that you actually purchase them and take them and i hope that the septrin situation will be resolved soon but if you are taking your airways and you're taking and you're not take, taking septrin and everything is okay then please go ahead okay continue 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 let us continue suppressing our tiny guest remember living with hiv not only requires taking airways it also does require your well-being mentally your well-being nutritionally so and physically so ensure that even as you're suppressing our tiny case you are also doing well because in the just concluded um international aids conference that the 8 2020 they said that uh 90 of people living with hiv are going through depression and you need to do things like yoga and exercise and meditation, okay? Yeah, so please ensure that your mental well-being is also taken care of as you're also taking care of suppressing your tiny kiss. That's all I had for today. Continue subscribing. See you on my birthday, people. It's my birthday, it's my birthday. Na, 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 na. Okay, so see you on my birthday next week. Subscribe, watch, 
share let's continue growing and let's continue being the beautiful stories that we have bye bye